everyone, I'm Glenda with SureFit Designs. Where's my waist? I get asked that question so many times and you know it's a perfectly legitimate question because in some people their waistlines are up higher, some down lower. What the experts say is that your waist, your natural waist, is at your belly button and that it is level and parallel to the floor. Well, as I say, that's in a perfect world, but we know that that isn't the circumstance. Their waist might end up being down like that. And if that is the circumstance, well, that's where you need to measure yourself. And of course, the opposite of that is your waist can actually be higher up at a longer center front crotch than it is in the back. And then the other thing that happens is you say, well, if that's my waist when I'm wearing pants, Where's my waist when I'm wearing a blouse? And so all of these things need to be addressed. The most logical question to ask yourself, first of all, is what garment am I making? Am I making a pair of pants or is it going to be a blouse or a jacket? So first of all, let me talk about pants. With the uh, pant pattern, one of the things when you get into the instruction book, it does tell you to Put a string or a piece of elastic around your waist. Now I'm wearing black so that you can see this white elastic that I've got around my waistline. And that's great, but one of the things that I would like you to do, particularly when you're measuring yourself for pants, is to cut yourself in a finished piece of fabric that ends up being one inch wide. So this actually was about two and a half inches wide, but by the time I'd folded it over and stitched it, it ended up being one inch wide. And the reason why I want you to do that is because this is going to act as your pretend waistband when you're um, uh, measuring yourself. So you're going to take this and you're going to tie it around wherever your waist level is. And when I say wherever your waist level is, it's where you want the waistband on your pants to actually ride on your body. So you put that one inch strip of fabric around your waist and then walk around in it, sit down, move around, bend, do whatever you need to do to settle it where your pants would normally ride on your body. And that's really important to do because then when you start measuring yourself, of course, you'll not only measure around in your waistline, but when you measure crotch, when you measure pant length, those are the things that you're going to want to measure from the bottom of the waistband down to wherever the finished location is. And the reason is, is because this waistband is going to sit on top of the waist level of the master pants pattern. Now, you can say to me, I never wear waistbands or I never wear my pants like that, and that's fine. But for your first test pair of pants, please make sure that you make a pair where the waistband is sitting at your uh, proposed waist level. Once you've got that done and you've got it tested and you know you like the waist level on that pair of pants on your muslin test, then you can change the position of the waist very, very easily on your pants pattern. You can say, well, I only ever wear them down below my belly button or I want to wear them down real low like that, a low rise, and then I want to put a band on top of that. Those are all design choices afterward, but make sure you like where the test pattern fits, first of all. Then, when we start looking at bodices, now you say, well, where's my waist in relationship to a, a fitted bodice? Well, again, it could be your narrower part of your body could be up here. And I've actually seen this happen. This was a lady who was very, very diamond shaped. She was really small circumference, um, oh, about four inches underneath the bottom of her bust level. And then she gradually got wider and wider and wider and wider. And so obviously she wouldn't want to wear her bodice finished level at her narrowest part of her body. So we had to say, where would you like that bodice to end? And it actually ended up being very close to where her belly button was. And then what you do in this narrower part of your body is you can shape with dark, 
kind of darts, of course, your darts can be stitched in a concave curve if, if you need them to be to shape that area for you. But then again, you must also ask yourself the question, am I ever going to wear a fitted garment? Because if you're never going to wear like a fitted bodice, then identifying and fussing with those darts is really not something that you have to spend a lot of time on. But your initial bodice test, you need to say, where's my waist? And again, for some of you that do have the dropped waistline and the fuller tummy, I've heard that called tummy fluff, well, then you may want to be drawing your bodice a level down to there. But again, you're not going to end up with an angled waistline, except for perhaps in the fitted test. Because when you actually go to make the finished garment, you're going to want that hem level to hang around your body parallel. So where's my waist? Well, you can see that it could be in a number of different locations. But you always must ask the question, where do I want that finished garment to ride on my body? Am I making pants? I make, or am I making a, a, a blouse or making a jacket? Because the actual finished level of the hem is going to vary. So you can see that with SureFit Designs, you always can be sure of the fit. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, I invite you to join our SureFit Designs community. And you can do that very, very easily. First of all, please head on over to our website, surefitdesigns.com. You'll see a little pop-up there, and when you subscribe to our newsletter, there's going to be four free gifts to get you started. And if you happen to purchase either a mini, a regular, or a maxi kit combo, you're going to get one of our other very important designing tools called the Designer's Companion. You're going to get it completely free. And that's one of our registration gifts. There are three others, and they're all downloadable. And I'm also going to invite you to join and subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a link directly below where I'm speaking. Just click it. You'll get instant reminders when I put up new videos and give you an opportunity to make sure you're available when we do our live chats and broadcasts. Thank you so much for participating, and I hope to see you in the next video.